Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you how to make a fidget spinner and how to make that fidget spinner into a weapon. And right here is the finished project, so stay tuned. So we're going to get a block and we're going to raise it up. First, we are going to build the fidget spinner itself. So we're just going to get the basic idea of what it looks like. We're not going to make it smooth yet or look totally like a fidget spinner. It's going to be really blocky at the moment. But most fidget spinners only have three ends for, I don't know what you call them, just the ends or the things that stick out. They only have three, but mine will have four. Why? Well, because it is easier. And secondly, it looks symmetrical. I like symmetrical. And I like easier. So I'm just going to do that. We're going to take the four ends, and now that is basically the basic form of a fidget spinner. And now we're just going to do the hinges on the block so it can spin once I get this done. some technical difficulties here but I eventually get it there so now let's get the what goes on top of the hinge now let's make the ends smooth we want them to kind of look like a sphere a little bit at the ends and we're going to do a little bit more after this and make it look more spherical. Or, I should say, cylinder-like, because it's not a sphere, it's a cylinder. I'm going to try to make it look like a cylinder, not a sphere. So now I am just trying to make it look more spherical. Crap, I mean, cylinder-like. And that's how it's going to look. So now I'm just going to do it to the other four ends. As you can see, as we do this, there will be kind of like corners in between uh, the ends. It will kind of look blockish in the middle. And we're going to fix that after we get all of these cylinder-like. Now it looks like there's like a big block in the middle, so let's fix that. Okay, this is basically how our fidget spinner will look like, but let's uh, resize the ends, the very tips of the ends, because it will look more cylinder-like. It just looks too long right now. Now let's get what goes on top of the hinges where we put our fingers or in real life where we would put our fingers. I tried to see if I can get something in the middle so it looks more like a fidget spinner, but I end up failing because it doesn't look right. Let's go and save it. I'm going to go save it so I don't lose anything. There's been so many times where I've tried tutorials for YouTube and it fails because it doesn't save. Or I forget to save. Now let's go and test this. 
I'm gonna test this so we can see if it works like it's supposed to at the moment. Works perfectly. Oh, going way too fast. Let's reload that. Looks like we're gonna have to only use one of those thrusters. Now let's color the fidget spinner. I kind of like yellow or orange, whatever you guys think it is. And we're gonna definitely make it smooth because those weld looking <laughs> plastic looks ugly. And let's make the hinges black. And now it, it kind of, it looks like a fidget spinner. It really does. Only thing is that it has four ends instead of Three. Let's make it a little bit reflective. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. So I used smooth plastic for the material. Now let's put a thruster inside the fidget spinner where we can't see it. Also remember to key bind it so we can turn it on or off from our controller, mech controller. So now it is time to try to make the hand or the fingers right at the moment that go onto the fidget spinner. Spinner's hinged circle. First I try making the fingers but I first end up failing but I eventually get it. I used my hand, my own hand in real life, as as a viewpoint of how I would want this hand in BYM to look like. A lot of things you can base your builds off of is real life stuff. So I was looking at a fidget spinner while making this. I was looking at my hand while making the hand. And there's so many other things you could base off real stuff in real life. Maybe not mechs, because I don't really see mechs that much in real life. My scissor arm tutorial, if you guys haven't seen that, was based off of a, a scissor arm that I literally had in real life. I literally based it off of that. And Dream Shatter gave me that idea, actually. He's still kind of mad about that, because I technically wasn't supposed to make that tutorial but I didn't base it off of his build, I just, the idea, that I got the idea of doing it in the first place from him. So shout out to Dream Shatter. If you're watching Dream Shatter, I'm sorry. Sensei. Right now I am trying to make the other fingers so the fingers I'm that are on the fidget spinner right now are supposed to be the the pointer finger and thumb and now I'm just making the other fingers. I'm almost making like an okay symbol like you know the hand emoji symbol. I'll probably try to put it on the video somehow. But uh okay emoji symbol. And right now I'm making the fingers really flat, and I'll be working with that later.
now we're going to try to make the next finger a little bit smaller, like on a real hand it is. So it's looking pretty good at the moment for basics. Now it's time to make the last finger. And there you have it. Here's all the fingers, and now we're going to add a little bit of thickness to the thumb. Now, because of all the crazy, all the crazy blocks and I used, or the way I used them, there's no way you can make this perfectly smooth. It's going to have to kind of, it's going to look a little bit blocky, but then it's better than nothing. And eventually I make it look a little bit better. So now I'm making the palm. Shout out to Daily141 that was just in the chat. He said I watch your video Super Speedy 101. Shout out to him because that's awesome. You guys who watch these videos are awesome. I do it because of you guys. Otherwise, there would be no point, especially for tutorials. If no one watched them, what's the point of tutorials? So I'm glad people get to watch my tutorials. Now we're going to try to make the wrist. And remember guys, you can't make this perfect because hands are hard. But it's looking pretty good, I think. The thumb has some problems. And that's why I'm going to try to fix it a little bit. So now I'm going to add a little bit to the fingers, the ends, the tips of the fingers, because it doesn't look quite right, but now it looks better. Or it's going to look better. <laughs> so far we've only used corner pieces, wedges, and normal blocks. So this should be easier for you guys who don't know how to use the newer blocks. So now it's looking pretty good, so let's add part of the arm. You guys can keep on going with this arm if you want to make a whole human mech. It's, that would be pretty cool. If you guys ever do that, show me in game. I would love to see it. So I'm, I'm going to stop in a little I'm not going to do the whole arm, I'm just going to have part of it for this video. But let's make it a little bit smoother. Make it look more roundish like a human rather than a block. These blocks aren't totally human, if I don't think so at least. And this is where we're first going to have to use a, a tetrapolyhedron or anti-tetrapolyhedragon over here in the polyhedragon section looks like that block and we're going to put it on both sides and it fits perfectly into the space there that's the hardest block you're going to have to use guys don't worry let's put a mech seat on the arm you guys can hide it somewhere but for this video i'm just going to do it easy now let's turn this weapon or this fidget spinner into a weapon 
So we're gonna add some spikes, but red kind of looks bad, so let's make it orange. And let's add it to every side. And make sure the spikes don't aren't long enough to hit the hand itself. And if you make the mistake that the spikes hit the hand, then just make the hand non-collidable, or at least a little part of it where it hits the hand. That's an easy fix. Or you can just make the spikes really small like I did, so it doesn't even have the chance to hit the hand. Now we're going to make the palm a little bit better. Okay. Now let's put spikes on the other sides. There we go. Now you can put bumpers on here too. I would put it on the sides of the ends, not the front, but the sides. I would put it on the sides. But we're going to make the the holes in the middle of the ends more roundish because I was starting to get annoyed that it was a block because I know how fidget spinners in real life are supposed to be cylinder like especially in those circles and technically those circles are supposed to have like I don't know what you call them but it's kind of like a gray circle in the middle that spin YouTube help me so now I am almost done. Now let's color the hand. So I always have trouble with color skin or skin the color of skin. Guys, I'm just basing it off of mine here. Now that I look at it from... Now I can see that I missed one block and it's starting to annoy me at the moment. But let's add some fire to our fidget spinner because fidget spinners aren't cool enough already. And Manhunter in the chat, I do not have a wrong number of, I'm guessing, ends. You say things. I am just doing four because it's cool. I think it's cool. And yes, fidget spinners can actually have up to six. So I don't think I'm overdoing it. make the fire as big as possible now let's save it I think we're done here so let's make sure the thruster is off when we unanchor it Okay, it looks like perfect. It's per it's working perfectly. Now let's open the garage and oh my goodness, that's a mess. I don't think this can compete with that mech, guys. This is why I should have just placed it onto a mech that I already had. But let's put a hover on it. Let's go out anyway. Put some graphic quality into here. Okay. So that's all weird and Mac flying, doing whatever. Oh, it's trying to chase me. Let's try to find anyone else that we can 
go kill. Oh goodness, he is persistent. One kill. He broke my fidget spinner. Hey, what in the... Wow. Well, YouTube, stay fast, stay speedy, and I'll see you in the next video.